the tower's richest resident was released into federal custody under house arrest. The guy stole from everyone who works in your building. Anyone who invested with Mr. Shaw has been defrauded. It's all gone. There is no pension. Did he get your money, too? Yeah, he did. I don't care what it takes, I will find a way to make things right. That theme is timeless. The workers being taken advantage of by the, you know, the rich folks and the workers turning the tables. You want to rob $20 million from Arthur Shaw, his penthouse apartment. We don't know how to steal. Don't worry. I know someone who does. You made bail. Why'd you bail me out? Because I have a job. What you trying to steal? $20 million. Ben, of course, perception is that Eddie is a big-time thief. He never said it was a real safe made out of steel. Going after $20 million, where do you think it'd be, wood? We're going after a big, giant $20 million heist, and I'm a guy that's, you know, steals bikes and, you know, <laughs> and satellite dishes and stuff like that. Your thief isn't even a thief. Sly has trepidation about uh, pulling a, a scam with the people that Ben has put together because they're as straight as Ben or even straighter. <laughs> you kidding, right? Josh, he's kind of a workaholic. He's so committed to the job that this decision to steal this money is really kind of the opposite of what he ever thought he would ever do with his life. Best off, who's buzzing? Come on! Who the hell is buzzing? And then there's Odessa, who's the maid. Do you think he could open this? Probably take me 15 minutes to open. 15 minutes? She is chief safecracker, <laughs> which is a pretty cool job. I feel extra special because I'm the only girl that's in on the heist. I feel like captain of the basketball team or something. I've spent the last three years working at the BK, and now I'm ready for the big leagues. BK, what is that, a building downtown? No, it's a Burger King in Times Square. Me, I have the least exciting of the skills. I can operate an elevator, so that's what I got going on. What's the passcode for Mr. Shaw's elevator? I just pressed the PH button. My character's not the brightest. I got your ski hats. No, masks. I said ski masks. But the guy said these would keep us the warmest. You're such an idiot. I need a mask. It's got to cover your face. Charlie is the guy who's been at the tower for a long time, but very reluctant to be a part of this. When he comes to ask me to do this, I go along with it for a little while, but then I decide that it's too risky. Why can't you just be my skinny fry and tuck? Come on. Who's fry and tuck? Fry and tuck is the guy who helps Robin Hood. If you need me, I'll be living in this box. Then there's Mr. Fitzhugh, who has been living in the building, and a guy who lost all his money. Thinking of becoming a male prostitute. I think I might have a better idea. I'm being evicted, which is somebody's fault, as far as I'm concerned. So I deserve the money, I think. There's nobody that doesn't love a good revenge story that's full of fun. The has gone rogue. If you put a team like that together, you're going to get a good movie. And we made one. So there. You know this is a bad idea, right? That's it. I don't want you talking to me for the rest of the robbery.